Hi friends, welcome to my channel and this is VMware Certification VCP 6.5 Data Center Virtualization Training video and this is the 12th video in this series and today in this video I am going to show you how to create a virtual machine template on VMware vSphere 6.5 so what what is basically template template is a something uh, predefined or pre pre-installed pre-configured virtual machine which we can uh, use to deploy a multiple virtual machine um, um, in a VMware environment which is basically can save our time so let's do the things so here is my infrastructure which we are going to use in this demo environment so the first machine is win 2 get 12 dc01 which is my active directory server if you see here this is my active directory server i have installed active directory and down uh, dns on this server you can see the name win 2 get 12 dc01 and my domain name is victimfossil.com and the second server is vcenter65 which is my vcenter server on which I have installed vCenter, uh, VMware, vSphere, vCenter infrastructure 6.5. So let me log into vSphere web client. So here we are. Use this window session authentication. it will take some time and here now you can see we have logged into VMware vSphere web client and now you can see we have a 3 ESX host which is ESX 1, 2 and 3 and next here you can see ESX 1 is running and we have a ESX 2 and the last one we have a ESX 3 here which is running all 3 ESX are added to my vCenter infrastructure and we have in last few videos we have created a template and installed the virtual machine in our vCenter infrastructure so you can see we have a two virtual machine right now so this is our in infrastructure and we have a IP Starvin virtual send which is uh, kind of providing the storage to our um, ESX host so now let's create a virtual machine template on a vCenter v vSphere 6.5 so to create a template here we need to go to any of the machines so I'm going to connect my this machine clone machine so I'm going to create a template by using my Win2K12 uh, to clone machine so here we are so wait for a few seconds to connect it then we can go So you can see in my um, this clone we have a few options like if you go on control panel my computer you can see I have done some settings here like rename the desk and I have also installed few applications here uh, features like desktop experience and these things so so this machine is basically ready for a uh, template creation and if if you want to create a template you need to install some application like MS Office or any customized application you can install all the application in your template st master image then you can you can go ahead and create a run the sysprep and do the create the template so my machine and my, uh, my in my demo environment I am going to create a template of this machine like which have a added feature desktop experience and .NET 3.5 so I am going to close this and this also I'm going to close and now to create a template we need to run a Windows uh, sysprep which is uh, located in Windows system 32 and you need to go to system 32 and then we have a sysprep folder and here you can see we have a sysprep.exe application file so I'm going to click on here and we need to select the journalize and I'm going to sh click on shutdown so what this system preparation tool will do 
this will remove all the all this uh, like machine specific data and it's going to reset the SSID and going to prepare this machine for first use so I'm going to select these options and click OK so now you can see the processing generalized phase syspep is running and it will remove all the personalized settings all the personalized uh, attribute for this machine and then it will shut down and then we can go ahead and um, convert this uh, create a template from this machine so we need to wait till the time this is prep is working on this machine and machine will automatically go to shut down so now you can see the machine is shut it down so now we are ready to go for the creation of template so to we have a few options to create a template and a vcenter vspace 6.5 so if I right click here we have option in a template convert to a template so what it's going to do basically this machine is going to convert in template so if I go here virtual machine and so icon so let's convert this machine in a template so we have an option so convert to template now convert this virtual machine convert this virtual machine to a template yes if I click yes then you can see the symbol is changed something and it's giving the what is template a template is a master image of virtual machine that can be used to create a virtual machines so good to know so we have a simple option here also we can go here and we can uh, convert this uh, machine to template so basically what we are going to do here we have created this machine and I'm going to create a template from this machine so this is a very simple step so you have a two option here first the machine which you have just uh, run the sysprep you can mark that machine as a template and then you can deploy a new virtual machine by using those template and you have also option here if I, you go to clone and we have option here you can see clone to virtual machine and clone to template so we can go ahead and create uh, a clone of this machine to template so I'm going to call it like win 2k8 r2 and you can name it like template and if I click next and it's going to give us the all the ESXi host which is available click next and then we have a storage options so I'm going to mm, build this machine in my learn 2 so click next now you can see the provisioning type we have a clone virtual machine a template so we have we are going to have a two virtual machine and next virtual machine is going to be a, created as a template the template name is going to be a win2k8 r2 template so let's and uh, it's going to ha run on esxi3 and the data store is learn2 so we can go ahead and click on finish now you can see the step is which is running is a clone virtual machine so it's going to clone this virtual machine in a template and once the machine is cloned then it's going to mark this machine as a template so uh, finally we are going to have a two virtual machine and one template then we can use this uh, template to deploy a virtual machine so we need to wait for till the time this machine is being copied and clone in a template then we can use this machine to deploy a template so I am pausing the recording here once the machine is cloned I will write back and will so see the further options so now you can see it's completed and if I go here we, we can see one template is created here and, and now we can use this template to deploy a new virtual machine from this template also we can convert this uh, template in a virtual machine and clone the template and clone to library we have all the options here so for now I'm going to test this with uh, this option which is uh, create a new virtual machine from this template so I'm going to call it like let's say win2k8 zero one and I'm going to place it in ESXi02 click next and I'm going to put this machine in here on learn one basically so click next now we can go ahead and change the setting if you want like guest operating system hardware so I'm going to 
uh, change the hardware setting for this virtual machine so make it like you can say 4 gig of RAM so 4 gig of RAM and this is all setting I'm going to leave the default so click next and now click finish now you can see it's creating a virtual machine from this template so what it's going to do it's going to do like copy this virtual machine a template to a virtual machine and if you go to data store you are able to see after a few, few minutes it's going to create a one data uh, folder in lun0 one so if I go here on lun1 so it's a started created one folder we are able to see here which is win 2 k 801 so it's copying the hard drive for now once the hard drive is created we are able to see this virtual machine and we can power on this virtual machine once again so we need to wait for this cloning of virtual machine so I'm pausing the recording once again once the cloning is done we will go ahead and power on this machine and we'll see the uh, deployment from uh, power on and do the post configuration for this virtual machine template so I'm pausing the recording here now you can see it's completed and now we can go ahead and power on this machine so I'm going to power on this machine and then we'll see how it's going on so open a console now so now you can see machine is getting started and it's setting the uh, devices and then it will uh, do the like post installation task and then we are able to see the machine uh, login screen page so we need to wait for it machine is rebooted now we have a um, set of wizards, set of windows, so click next now we have automatically activate, we can skip this, I accept the license term so now you can see we don't need to install our operating system we have deployed this machine from template and it's asking for all the pre uh, uh, post post installation things to us and we'll see the uh, the features we which we have uh, enabled before create uh, before running the sys prep and before creating the template is there or not so here we go and now you can see the computer name and everything is there just wait for a few seconds now we you can see we have a desktop experience and dotnet 3.5 is enabled this time zone is set up to India and if I go to my computer you are able to see the OS desk is rename here so so this is all about how, how to create a virtual machine template and how to create a uh, how to deploy a virtual machine from template so thank you for watching and please subscribe me for more videos and if you have any question any query related to this please post me on my given mail ids thank you once again bye bye